or maybe give an away like someone who are feeling the Gabena about consonant. I send a lag group and then that person found out that we did.
speak to you guys in this vlog i believe um last week i didn't speak much because after i came back from vlog i had to study for microbiology because i was writing on that wednesday so the following day so i was just studying and i forgot to continue filming but anyway today was our second session for OBGYN and our sessions are more about 45 minutes long today they were teaching us about how to manage pregnancy in HIV positive mothers um, how to prevent spread from the mother to the child during while the baby's still inside during um birth and after birth while breastfeeding in the following week that's when they're gonna be teaching us how to examine a pregnant belly um my i'm not gonna go next week because they're div dividing us first half is gonna go next week and the second half is gonna go that other week so that's when i'll be going currently i i have been catching up on a poem lecture that i missed because this year's poem schedule is messed up because we have blocks at 12 and most of our blocks are at are on campus and buses that go to campus are from 10 ne, are from the morning but for me to make it in time it's either i have to take the morning early morning bus or the 10 o'clock bus and when I take the 10 o'clock bus, we're still attending because between 10 and 12, there's no other bus that's going to come and take us back to campus from res. So we kind of have to sacrifice attending the lecture so that you can be on time um, for block. So I logged off of the lecture that I was attending, so I missed the rest of it. So that's what I was doing. I was just watching that lecture but i didn't miss much i think she just continued teaching for about 30 minutes and then that's the 30 minutes i i missed so i just catch, caught up on that and another lecture that they started afterwards which was about like 15 minutes that i missed and then i caught it immediately when i got back to campus i said um at e-learning as you saw and then yeah i was just finishing that up now I'm waiting on an Uber Eats delivery because I am very hungry. They cancelled my previous delivery. I had ordered from Mug and Bean. And then apparently when the driver got there, the shop was closed. So they refunded me my money. And now I bought food from McDonald's. So it's going to be here in like 30 minutes or so. And I'm, I'm very hungry. I even have a headache from how hungry I am. But for the rest of today, I am going to study pharmacology because I'm writing farm next week, Friday, and it's a lot, and it's very something else. I'm not used to the terminology here, but I'm getting used to it. My mom told me that for farm, I must just cram. So I don't even know. I don't even know how to cram. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. But Mom said you must cram. There's no other thing to do besides cramming and just doing past papers. So I'm gonna go through. As I even made a plan. Let me show you my plan for farm. Everything that I need to. And I'm already behind on my schedule that I set for myself. I'm already two days behind, guys. Like, can I please be serious with life? Please. Anyway, this is. Hope you can see, but this is everything that I have to do for farm. Everything. I wrote it down. Wrote how many days it should take me. <sighs> and all that. That is going okay so far. Also, I wanted to apologize for the zoom in from last clip. I didn't realize that it was so zoomed in. So I apologize for that. But while I'm waiting for my food, they're saying the driver is on their way. <laughs> um, I need to order a stethoscope. So I was thinking that we can do that together. Let's order my stethoscope together. I'm going to be ordering it from this website because <sighs> from Funscake they don't have this color and the lady that i spoke to that does have this color was charging it 2.7 so yeah no and i'm hoping that it'll work i signed up for this pay just now thing where i'm gonna pay with installments because it's kind of expensive to just pay all of it but i saved up money but hopefully 
it allow me to do the pain installments. Proceed to check out. Let's see, let's see. I am having dinner now. This is a recipe from TikTok. It's one of the viral TikTok dishes. It's basically you take you take um you take cherry tomatoes feta cheese and put it in the oven and like bake it with um olive oil drizzled on it with some spices and then you just cook your pasta and when the cheese and tomatoes are cooked you just mash them and then add them to the pasta and that's what we have and i'm just gonna eat this and currently 12 minutes to 11, 11. I was probably be done eating by then. Then I'm going to continue studying microbiology. But my status cup, I already opened it with my mom, but I'm still gonna open it with you guys. simple one i don't want like a flashy color but i got it with like rainbow so that that's like the splash of color you know it's basic but this is like what makes it like special mm. oh my gosh i'm so happy you know if you arrive at mm -hmm. if you arrive after nine but you're running watch them down but i'm gonna take computer so they leave them then it's either you record there's no sound yeah. so i got that floor <gasps> Hi! You even forgot me. I did. Hi. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you after so long. <laughs> what are you doing now? Oh. <laughs> Sharp. She was my ex classmate. Yeah. What do you see? Where are the honors? Does this work? Elevator going up. Doors closing. <laughs>
Bye. 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 No, not right now. Man, to man. No. Don't be fine. Come here, Sue. Now, 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 You were just eating something. Look at those crumbs on your face. Exactly, Naja.
Okay, I don't want to talk to you about the test now. Let's let's leave the test alone. Let's. Oh, guys, I made so many stupid mistakes of things that I studied, but I didn't write those things that I studied. <sighs> but it's fine. It's okay. It's not fine, but I'm not going to dwell on it, okay? I learned this from last year. Whether you had a good experience writing a test or a bad one, you dwell on it the first hour after writing after that you leave it you forget about it because it's not gonna change anything it's just gonna make you feel even worse so after writing the test we went to the hospital where we had to do our case study we had to see a pregnant patient either with a normal pregnancy a diabetic pregnancy or a um a normal pregnancy a person who is diabetic who's pregnant or a person with hypertension who is also pregnant. So we got a person who's hypertension who was pregnant and she was a very, very nice lady. I was doing the abdominal examination um because my I went home what's this called this Sunday because I wanted my dad to show me that. So I wanted to practice it live because we hadn't practiced it practiced it on an actual person because we don't have many pregnant ladies offering to be our actors <laughs> for us to examine them you know so i wanted to take the experience to be the one to feel that and see like what it felt like and guys i don't know what i was thinking in my head i thought if i felt because my dad said if you feel for the fundal height if it's the head of the baby or it's the buttocks of the baby. If it's the head, you're going to feel it's hard. So me now, when I was feeling the me, I expected to feel like hardness. You know, like a rock hardness. <laughs> That's what I was expecting to feel. But it was hard, but it wasn't like hard, hard. It was like, if you started from the top of the belly and you moved down, you could tell, oh, no, this part is harder than those other parts. So that's most probably where the fundal height is. So, yeah, it just confused me because in my head, now I expected to feel like rock hardness with no, no, this is a head, you know. It's, you know, when you feel your head, that's what I was expecting. But I don't know why I expected that because obviously it's covered in like fat and like, you know, it's not just a baby. It's not just the baby head, like there's amniotic fluid and all of that. But anyway, the lady was very nice. She, she, she just kept quiet and like... I was busy cutler cuttering her and she, she didn't say anything and then all of the maneuvers I was able to do them but except for one I couldn't feel for the life of me the baby's um back because we're supposed to feel uh, which is the second maneuver we're supposed to feel if there's whether the baby's back is facing like the left is on the left hand side or whether it's on the right hand side and I I I couldn't feel it for the life of me, but we are thinking that maybe it's because the baby is still small and also because I don't have experience with it. Um, the, uh, the lady was, I think, 22 weeks or 20 weeks, 21, 21, 22 weeks pregnant. So the baby is fairly small. So maybe that's why I'm trying to make myself feel better. But I will add that it's also because of lack of experience that maybe that also added not maybe that definitely added as to why i couldn't feel that so i couldn't feel that and i asked my uh partner to do that he also couldn't feel it so when i was like hey i don't know what to do now so i have to just marinate my assignment no marinate anyway <laughs> so yeah that was it it was fun and then the people from my group tried to find another patient because I think we were not many, but we thought that okay, we'll just divide the group and just help each other. Or what, and then the other group will take that different because there was another patient that had hypertension, and apparently she was she was she was not having it, cause she 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 told them that the questions they were asking were boring, and she refused because we have to ask first for permission if we we can examine them. Um, she refused to give them permission. She's like, no, I don't want you guys to touch me because it's hot. And I'm like, oh. 
guys we see these things yes now i'm, I'm, I'm i didn't see her name because i was still busy with the examination and they said okay while i'm busy with the examination she's gonna start history with a different patient and they're like yo uh -uh, we just have to all <laughs> um see this patient because that other one refused that other one refused and it was packed today not packed in the terms of um patients but medical students because all of us were coming to do our case reports we found already two groups there who were busy so that other one was the last one we could check because you obviously don't want to check someone who's already been checked they get tired and you can't be seeing five groups of medical students on one patient that i personally personally will also be tired and be like yo ah find someone else I me mean, ah, leave me alone but that was fun it was fun it was interesting feeling the thing I hope I was feeling the right another thing I hope I was feeling the right things but I think I am because the part that I felt me it was harder compared to the other ones but yeah I think I felt the right things but I'm happy that I could have done the examination even if I didn't do it perfectly at least now I have a better understanding of oh this is this is something I'm supposed to feel or this is not what I'm supposed to feel ish but we're just gonna continue with it when I have to do, um, what's this called? I have to observe, and if I'm lucky, I can help with delivering 10 normal births around Easter recess. That assignment needs to be submitted by October, so I don't know when I'm going to do that, but I have to do that for opposite contributes into our marks and stuff like that but yeah that's it guys that's it now i just have to do my case report and submit it i think i'm gonna just end my video here so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in my next one